It is the middle of the workday, so please don't tell my boss that I'm making this video. But we really have to talk about something that is really freaking cool that we just got announced from Expedition 33, the upcoming RPG that's just looking better and better and freaking better. With a splashy reveal trailer, the cast for the upcoming RPG, Claire Obscure Expedition 33, has been announced and it has catapulted my hope and expectations for this game into the stratosphere. I mean, hell, just listen to these opening lines and you'll know exactly who this is, exactly who it is, within just moments. Do you know what it means to disappear into nothingness? Andy Serkis over the years is becoming one of my favorite actors from Lord of the Rings to Planet of the Apes to their roles in the MCU. I even got to enjoy a panel with Andy Serkis that happened during the writer's strike so he couldn't talk about any of those projects so we got to talk about all of his theater projects for basically an hour and it was really great. His voice is iconic and so is his mocap which makes me even more excited about this project. And he'll be joined by some equally impressive names like Jennifer English, Shadowheart of Baldur's Gate 3 fame, Ben Starr of Final Fantasy 16, Charlie Cox, the Daredevil himself, Christy Ryder from The Sandman, and Shala Nix from Cyberpunk 2077, Banisher's Ghost of Eden, and even multiple credits in BG3. Baldur's Gate 3 had a lot of actors that I think we're going to be seeing all over the place from now on, I think. This ensemble cast and the talent they represent as full performance actors has me so freaking hyped about this game, I can barely contain it. The story of Claire Obscure is giving off all of the lacrimose vibes of a haunting sonnet. And I think it's something that will be very much conveyed through the acting of these great actors, something that I think is a little bit of an underrated thing when it comes to games like this. A lot of the reason why so many of us really, really connected with Baldur's Gate 3, at least as far as I'm concerned, is the performance of the actors who did it. That, that, that strong performance can really carry through the way it can in a very good movie or a good TV show. And with the medium of gaming being so tied to emotion in a lot of ways when you have RPGs like this, it really pays to have these great actors doing some of the heavy lifting of conveying that story in a medium that you are closer to than anything else. I mean, gaming is that one really interesting medium where it combines all these other art forms into one, and you get to experience things firsthand in a way. As someone said, it is one of the only mediums where you can experience regret. The trailer announced today gave me so many, like it actually, it gave me literal chills. And I think if you haven't seen it yet, you know, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you right now. Do you know what it means to disappear into nothingness? Their memories. Their dreams. Their love for each other. We exist for as long as she wants. You won't yet understand. But this is a kindness, not a cruelty. The plan doesn't change. We keep heading north. We aim for the monolith. I am not. Letting my L die out here. I've been having nightmares. Why do you refuse to see I am doing this for us?
in their next life. It's very, very early, but this game, I think it's already in the lead. I think this has jumped into the lead for me for game of the year for 2025, or at the very least, RPG of the year 2025. There, got, there is going to be some intense competition in 2025. I mean, we're going to have potentially we're going to potentially have the new fable in 2025. We're going to have avowed. We're going to be having a lot of really good games throughout the year, but uh, this one just feels it feels primed. It looks like the kind of spectacle that goes with the RPG that a game like that, a, a game of the year requires. We already know the visuals are going to be great. The music score sounds impeccable. The action we get to see in the trailer goes beyond just the combat, but also world travel from leaping across gaps to using grappling hooks. And then on top of that, you get this, you add this fantastic cast of the game with so many cinematic shots in the trailer that they're using the actors in much the same way that Baldur's Gate 3 did, performance to capture emotion. This, this is going to be hard to beat. But there are still some incredible games coming in 2025, and if you want to see what some of those games are, including more information on this game specifically, I cover that in this video right here. It's, it's, it's going to be loaded in 2025. I'm very, very optimistic. And if you want to be as optimistic as me, just go check out that video. Now, I'm, I'm going to go just like, I'm going to go take a sit down, and I'll probably just listen to some Andy Serkis reading Lord of the Rings again. This is great. Oh, oh, actually, I got to go back to work, though. Shh.